The NFL finally brought a game to Hawaii. It's been since 1976. Now it's a chance to share lessons on football and faith. Retired Rams quarterback, NFL quarterback. He's been with a couple of different teams. Jeff Kemp is here to tell us about a bunch of events and what's inspired them. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate hey, bro, it, sir. Great to be with you. Man, oh, man. Thanks. Nice to, good to be able to shake your hand. And uh, it's always nice to hold on to a football like this. You hold it nice. Tuck it away so yeah, no, no one knocks yep. it out. Three point. There you, you go. have a good grip. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Man, this is great. Um, can you give us the backstory on your what has been an 11-year football career? I know it started uh, with with the Rams. Uh, yeah, to start with the Rams, but the story goes back. My dad played 13 years in the NFL. He was a Buffalo Bills championship quarterback. When I grew up, you know, people say, "What are you going to do when you grow up?" I said, "Well, play quarterback in the NFL, like my dad." Uh -huh. And uh, so that was always my dream. But it turned out I was kind of a late bloomer. Yeah. Um, I didn't. I only started in the summer before the season one time out of 20 years of football. Wow. But my dad kept encouraging me, hey, your day's going to come, keep yeah. on going. So uh, I tell young high school players, we're going to talk to a bunch of them uh, Saturday morning, uh, don't define yourself by the past or the present. Yeah. Think future. So anyway, I went to Dartmouth. I snuck in the NFL as a free agent, made the Rams long shot. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I really um, had my best season with the 49ers yeah. under Bill Walsh, Jerry yeah. Rice catching the ball. Joe was hurt, wasn't he? For Joe, yeah. I thought I was going to get to learn from the master. <laughs> Instead, I filled in for the master, and uh, it was a blast till I got hurt. I want to say you had 11 touchdowns that season. You threw yeah. 11, 11 touchdowns. Yeah, I think we, uh, in six weeks, I think Jerry caught eight touchdowns. Wow. And then we had 11 that you know, that, those six games. And then I got traded the next year because they wanted Montana and Steve Young over me. So I went to see What were they thinking? What were they thinking? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I should have stayed there and won some Super Bowls. You ended up uh, with the Seahawks, and then you ended up going to the East Coast with the Philadelphia Eagles. That's where I finished in 91. Um, I had a lot of ups and downs. Uh, in, in 1991, I started six games for the Seahawks. We won three of them. And then I got cut after throwing a pass to a friend of mine who caught it in an overtime game. Problem was it was Ronnie Lott ah, on the other team, uh, that's and uh, they cut me the next day. Yeah, and my son, six years old, says a prayer at dinner. Dear God, thanks for the food. Thanks for Daddy. Give him a new team. I want him to be on the Eagles. Amen. Ah. And my wife and I are like, what's up with this? His little league soccer team was named the Eagles. He wanted me to have the same name, and the team called me the next day, and uh, I was in Philly. Two days later, and that's where I finished, and, and really had a great time playing with that amazing team, Reggie White and those guys. Uh, and then I ended my career in '92. I'm glad that you're that you walk normally, that you don't have the the uh, the, the ailments that most NFL players that had a long career like you have. Yeah, I'm uh, thankful. My knees are good. I have an artificial hip, uh, but I still snow ski and play tennis with my yeah. wife. Um, and uh, I think the concussions were limited, and I'm, I'm really a champion for um, protecting from concussions, mm. and uh, there's a lot more to do to heal the brain these days than people realize. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine has a foundation, uh, One Hit Away, that does a great job helping with that. But I think football is a great sport. I'm all for it, and the value uh, of teaching character, shaping young men who, who love each other and love the team and are selfless and mm -hmm. humble, that's the best part of sports. Not, yeah. not the money, not the, the brand, not the fame. That stuff goes away. It doesn't change lives. I'm in complete agreement with you. I want to know about Honolulu Blitz. Tell me about that. Cool. Well, uh, the NFL's here. First time in 43 years, Rams and Cowboys playing on Saturday. And uh, there's a lot of attention on football. High school football kicking off in Honolulu, this is a big deal. It People is. love it. Yep. And family's important. And then what doesn't get as much attention is faith. But faith shapes who you are. Can you love? Can you forgive? Can you apologize? Uh, can you stick with a commitment? Mm -hmm. Can you overcome some bad things? And so we're going to talk about football. We're going to talk about family. And we're going to talk about faith. I have, I think, nine different talks in six days to young people, to school. We have a youth rally. There's a huge men's event, the Blitz, a marriage event. Speaking at a church, we did a fundraiser for Youth for Christ that sends youth, youth workers into the schools to love kids and stop bullying. Um, so we're just blitzing this community with love, I love with hope. That. And I love the fact that you're, you're, you're coming here to do it. In fact, we need more people like you to do that. Uh, I think everyone often. can do it. You don't have to give big speeches. You just need to go uh, encourage people. Tell them what you like about them. Sure. Call out their best trait. Um, put a little extra effort in your marriage and go on an extra date. Start dating your wife again. <laughs> um, men need to be strong, but not for their own sake, but for others. We need to de you know, defend the person who's being bullied or, or hurt or stop this to... stupid, terrible sex trafficking and, and really the porn world that's saying, look at women as an object.
Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. It shrinks you. It shrinks them. Uh, women are cherished and beautiful and wonderful, and a man ought to treat them well. And in my case, choose one and love her for life. You have a book about that, don't you? My book, Facing the Blitz? Yeah, I'm going to give you one. Uh -huh. If I sign it, the value will go down. Do you, do you mind I, I No, do I want it? you to sign it. <laughs> I have a pen. Um, and as you sign, I want to tell everybody about uh, what we got coming up. It's Facing the Blitz, three strategies for turning trials into triumphs. How Taking so bad things and, and turning them into good things. Mm -hmm. If you have a, a long-term perspective and you're humble enough to change, like on a football field, you got you to audible eyes, you got to sight adjust. And if you focus on encouraging and blessing other people instead of just worrying about yourself. How can somebody follow you? Uh, FacingTheBlitz.com is a good spot. Okay. And then all of these events are at JeffKempTeam.com. Okay. JeffKempTeam. Com. We have that information. Of course, we're going to put it on our, on our web, uh, website. And of course, we want to tell you about this weekend because don't forget, we'll be airing the game live right here on KHON2. Coverage starts at 4 p.m. It's the Rams against the Cowboys on Saturday, and we'll be hosting a special halftime show during the game. Awesome. Again, Rams versus Cowboys on Saturday at 4 p.m. on KHON2. Thank you so much, sir, for, for coming down and, and, and hey, sharing. My pleasure. Thanks for what you do. I appreciate what you do. Good to Thank be you here. so much.